Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode 11. So we were left on a bit of a cliffhanger last episode. Nanami's a bit of a boss. I'm not going to lie. He took his tie off. He's about to whoop some ass. He is. Yeah. He's pissed off that he's in overtime now. Yeah. And he's a, you know, he's a businessman. I can't wait to see what he can do. It seems like he had the same ability as Yuji with like the, what is it called? Divergent fist. Yes. But he's got like a divergent body. Well... His tie is imbued with curse energy by the looks of things. Yes, his moldy tie and his moldy meat cleaver. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's going to use that now. I don't know how well he's going to do. We kind of saw a table last episode that explained, you know, how powerful a grade two sorcerer is compared to a grade two spirit. Yeah. Etc. And I'm pretty sure Mahito is a special grade curse. So I do think Nanami is slightly worse off. Mm. So I don't know how that fight is going to conclude, but I really enjoyed the fight last episode. It was so good. They were just flying around the sewer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the animation was brilliant. We've kind of learned to expect that with Mappa anyway. Yes. But we've got Yuji with Junpei now. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they're going to do some questioning because their other plan failed. Yeah. The kid was about to do something with his hands. That's right. Now we think he was going to use some Shikigami or something. But we're still not quite sure what power he possesses, what grade he is. Yeah. Plus, he recognized the button on Yuji's uniform. Yeah, there was that too. So I guess we know he's got some sort of familiarity with the Jujutsu Sorcerers. Mm, yeah. So yeah, last episode, we did get a nice insight into Junpei. Well, I don't know if it was a nice insight, but we learned a little bit more about his character. And hopefully this episode, we learned the extent of what he can do. Yeah. But we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. And if you guys are interested in early access and the full-length reactions to all of these videos, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. He's at his limit until he goes into overtime. That's right. Zanendis. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, crap. さっきまでは自ら知力を制限していたのか。面白い。ああ、yes, <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. He always said that revealing his technique is fine. More beneficial in battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. Collapse. <laughs> Why is he excited? <laughs> oh. Nanami's a boss. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so Nanami wins that battle. Yeah, but what happened to Mahito? She's just gonna heal, I guess. <laughs> She's like, Oh my god. Still looking for it. He's still trying to catch it. Oh. 
So he told him about them. Then why did he tell him to be friends with them? Oh. He's been watching heaps of movies. That's true. He will know. ちょっと面白かったな。そう、そうなんだよ。うん、その日のこと。ゲットでスネーキーバースタード。ワンとスリーと変わらないように見えるんだけど、完璧主義の。全てを投げ出すまでの感情の動きがちゃんと描けてる
いやこれから映画だから<笑>はいはいじゃあ2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間後に2時間命の価値が曖昧になって大切な人の価値までわからなくなるのが俺は怖い。That's the path that he's going down at this point. Maybe Yuji will help him? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh. What? Oh, what? what? What is that? Oh, shh. Yubi? Oh my gosh. Why is she so chill about a finger? Well, how many curses was that? Or is it just one that just. I think it's just one. That was just crazy morphed or something. What? Oh, that's what it is. 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 Junpei is gonna blame him. Yeah, I don't know. Kore wa skuna to itte. Noroi o yobi yoseru jubutsu nanda. Nante, sonna mono ga uchi ni. He must have asked Yuji for that minute to come out or something, maybe. I don't know. Ah. Hito nante kantan ni noroi koroseru nda yo. Kokoro atari wa nai kai? Kimi ya haha oya o uramde iru ningen. Ah, his dad? Moshika wa kane to hima o mote amashita. Usugurai ningen ni. His dad. Yeah, it must be. That reminds me of Ghetto or Mahito or something. That guy was one of the bullies. Yeah. What, they can say that too? What the heck? Oh, they're doing that thing that they did in episode four. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Oh, are they all dead? Are you kidding? Oh boy. What is that? Oh, the cigarette marks? What was that? What the heck? He's not holding back anymore. Yeah, he's gone off the deep end now. So he thinks he did it. It wasn't. Oh, no. oh shit. Crap. It was dark. There was so much information in that episode. Yeah, there was a lot. So, unfortunately, we didn't really say much. We didn't really have much to react to. So the reaction highlight of this video might be a lot shorter. So sorry about that. But we'll discuss the whole episode in the discussion. So I quite liked the whole Junpei. Is it Junpei? Is that how you say it? The whole Junpei Yuji relationship there. I thought they actually had quite a bit in common. And just like Junpei has been roped into the bad side of things. Yuji was kind of roped into the good side of things. They both have mystery about their families, I guess. Well, we don't really know much about his dad, Junpei's dad. Yuji doesn't really know much about his parents. They like movies, you know? I felt like Yuji could really help Junpei. Yeah. At least bring him to the side that's good, if we're using the word good and bad. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just so sad how his mum got killed that episode. The heck. So it was Ghetto and Meito's doing. Yeah, but Junpei doesn't know that just yet. Well, no. So why did they do that? 
they're interested in schooner by the sounds of things. Yeah. So what, they, they have possession of one of his fingers? I think they want him to get closer to the jiu-jitsu sorcerers so that they can get closer to Gojo. Well, yeah, he's like the main concern for them, isn't he? They they do want to trap him and all, yeah. all of that because they feel like they can deal with everyone else. It's just Gojo that's way too hard to deal with. Yeah, so it's like Junpei can be the link that was missing between the Jujutsu Sorcerers and the, the Curses and all that. Right, but on the flip side, Nanami's kind of trying to link Yuji in with Junpei to get a link to the bad side of things too, oh. I guess. <laughs> Okay, so they're, yeah, they're all kind of using Junpei at the moment. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but I just want to go back to that whole scene with the finger. So she woke up and the finger was there. Yeah. So I'm assuming Ghetto was the one who planted that. Yeah. He was doing some shifty business, making his rounds that episode. He planted that there and then what? The cursed spirit was drawn to it. Yep. And destroyed the mum. Killed the mum. Let's talk about Nanami again. I just really want to speak about this man because he's <laughs> hectic. Yeah. So he has a pact, Mahito was saying. So as soon as it reaches six, overtime kicks in. Like this curse technique that he has kicks in where he uses more of his cursed energy. Yeah, or he can conceal it for like... His eight hours of work or whatever it is. Yeah, and then all of it just comes out in overtime. Yeah, so not necessarily six, Mm -hmm. I don't think, but yeah, just all comes out. That was so cool. Larry like punched down that wall and and the wall collapsed in on Mojito. But Mojito seems to also be like learning on the job a little bit. So he's... uh, He is new to all this. Yeah, he's like a new spirit. Yeah. Okay. Do you think he was born from like Junpei's emotion? He was born out of, like, you know, hate and all that, right? I think just humans in general. Okay, all right. So Junpei would be part of, like, a really, really small, small part of that. Right, okay. So what do we think about Junpei's dad? That's probably how he gets the sorcerer abilities. Maybe. I I don't know. I can't say anything about him just yet. I know the leaves were covering his face strategically in that. that. Maybe it's someone we know. Interesting. Came to me now. I mean, he kind of looks like Ghetto a bit. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking more along the lines of Megumi. You think Megumi's his dad? No. Oh, my God. No, I'm thinking they're like related to some degree. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to think. Because remember, there was all that talk about Megumi's dad at one stage. Yeah. No talk about his mum. I, I don't know. I'm trying to make some links here, but I can't. Yeah, but Junpei and Megumi are like the same age. Or similar ages. Yeah, I'm not sure where to go with the theory yet. <laughs> Maybe at the start of next episode, I'll come up with something. So at the end, they put that like veil on the outside of the school. Yeah. And so that's what the sorcerers did outside the detention center? Or yeah. was it yeah. the cursed spirits did that? And they could just enter because only like... Yeah. What were they saying? You can enter from the, yeah. the, the back or something. They said something. They were saying a, only a low grade. Mm-hmm. Sorcerer or something could. But what were they trying to do there? Were they trying to, like, get attention? Isn't that like a privacy thing? No, but why Why are they doing that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking it's to create a scene so then they can draw in, I don't know, Yuji, Nanami, Gojo. Yeah. Why did only the kids pass out and the teacher didn't? Is that one of Junpei's, like, cursed techniques? Yeah, maybe he, like, can choose who passes out. Yeah, well, there was that, all those, um, like, purple blotches. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if the other kids had them too Mm. or something. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's because he wanted to question those two specifically. The teacher as well. Yeah. So Junpei is thinking, like, who could have possibly wanted this to happen to me? And those were, like, the few that he knew that hated him. Oh, I didn't think he knew the teacher hated him, or even if the teacher does hate him. Well, that was the vibe he was getting, so that's why I assumed they were both there to be questioned. And what, what were those scars on his head? Whose head? Junpei's. Oh, I thought, wasn't there something with, um, we saw someone put a cigarette butt to his face, like 
like we were the camera, we saw the cigarette butt. Oh. Wasn't there something like that? Yeah, there was. And... Oh, you know what? That's why he wants his mum to stop smoking. Yeah, his dad probably did that to him. And like whenever his mum smokes, it probably reminds him of that. Right. Okay. And didn't the other students, like the bullies, threaten him with that one time as well? In one of the scenes it looked like? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so it has something to do with that. Mm. I just wanted to clear that up. That's horrible. Mm. No wonder he grows his hair like that. He's probably so upset by it. Yeah. I was kind of liking where... Junpei's character was going. It was like stuck in the middle of these two parties, but he was growing fond of both. So I was just really interested to see like how he's going to make his decisions and whatnot from now on. But yes, then they kill his mum off. I think that pushes him over the edge. Yeah, I think you're right. Look at him now. Yeah. He's donned the black jacket. Mm. That's got to be symbolic. He's like, he covered his white top. Yeah. Like the darkness over the top of the light. You know, me with the symbolism. I'm onto the symbolism. It could be a stylistic choice, but I'm going to say it's deeper than that. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how he'll react if or when he finds out that Mahito and Ghetto are responsible for his mother's death. Yeah. I'm not sure either. There's like multiple turning points or potential turning points for Junpei, and you just really don't know which way he's going to go. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I just want to clear up. That scene when they were talking at the top of the rooftop there of the school, Mahito and Ghetto. So one of them, I believe it was Ghetto, left the schooner's finger. One of the fingers there, so they have possession of it. One or more, I'm mm-hmm. not sure. Because they want to link to Yuji, so then they have a link to schooner for some reason. Okay. So they want to make some sort of deal or something with him. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. So they're kind of just using Junpei just as a link to Yuji. Maybe they, like, work for Schooner or something. Oh, I see. It's like the Death Eaters work for Voldemort, you know? Okay, and that's why they want to trap Gojo, because Gojo, like, won't let any of that happen just because mm. of how strong he is. And the only way to get Schooner back whole is by trapping Gojo and getting Yuji. Yeah. Okay. There's still a lot of mysteries. There's still a lot to uncover. Hopefully we're following. If... If we've missed anything this episode, which I'm assuming we've missed quite a bit, because that one was a little bit harder to follow, leave non-spoiler comments down below for us. I'll have to add some things to the notebook. I'll probably also watch this one again. Hopefully next episode or the one after that, at least, we get to touch base with all the other characters like Nobara, Megumi. I miss them. Yeah. Uh, They're going to be so happy when they all reunite again. I know. I hope it's at the games thing. Yeah, true. What's it called again? The the exchange event. The exchange event. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. Yeah. I'm kind of spewing that we only got one episode of my so far. Yeah. I'm just taking my revenge because of Gojo. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) That one episode of Gojo was like 20 episodes worth of... Of my. No, I'm not going to sell her short like that. She (laughs) She doesn't deserve that. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.